Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to draw a use case diagram of ATM machine in Stardew. Before starting this video, please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. First, go to models and click on add diagram and we will select the use case diagram. On the left side, you can see different use cases. First thing that is we have to select is use case subject. Just click on it and you can drag it according to your choice. So I have dragged it here. Now, I'm going to give this use case diagram a name, like it is ATM machine system. So this is my name that is you can see at the top. The next step is we are going to add the actors. From the left side, you can see there are actors. Just click on it and we will add the first actor here at the top. And we'll give the name as administrator. As you know, that in an ATM machine system, an administrator or you can say third party is very important. The second actor that we are going to add is bank customer. So let's whatever customer, or you can just give it name as user or bank user, it's your choice. Third actor that I'm going to add is the main one that you know, that is the bank. Sorry, my mistake, I have selected the use case, but you can just delete it. And you can select the actor again. Bank is one of the most important one that is going to add here because all the uh, use cases are connected to it. So let's start with the administrator. First, we have to think what an administrator does in an ATM machine system. It will do the system maintenance. So let's select the system maintenance from the use case and just add it here. Why I'm adding it at the left, I'm going to tell you the reason afterwards. Let's add system maintenance. So this is our use case that we have added. We'll take it at the left and we can just increase our use case subject size as well. It's not a big issue. You can just drag it and create. Administrator will manage the system maintenance. Now first, we will connect this administrator with the system manage maintenance with the help of association relationship. Just click on administrator and drag it to the system maintenance. As you can see, this is being connected. Now, there are two things that you, know, you need to understand. One is include, and the second one is extend. Now, system maintenance includes means that mandatory. Now, what is mandatory in system maintenance, if you think? Two things are mandatory. Let me add it. The first one is system reporting. So as you know, when an administrator does a system maintenance, inside that system maintenance, two things are very important. First one is system reporting, and the second one is system shutdown. So now, what I want is, I want to connect this system reporting and system shutdown with this system maintenance. So now here comes the concept of include, that include means mandatory these things are going to be performed. So as you drag down, you can see there is an include relation. You can just click on it and you can connect system maintenance with system reporting. So as you can see, that system maintenance is connected with system reporting. We want to also connect the system maintenance with the system shutdown. Same thing we're going to do is connect the include with the system shutdown. So this indicates that system maintenance has to do the two things that is mandatory for it. So include means mandatory. Next thing, we will talk about bank customer. What will a bank customer do with an ATM machine system? The first thing that the bank customer will do is login. So I'm going to add the login use case. Now, 
Inside the login use case, what things that a bank customer will do that is very important, that is mandatory, you can see. So that it's the bank customer will log in and it will perform transaction. So second use case that I'm going to add here is transaction. I'll connect this login with the transaction and it is will be included because whenever a bank customer will log in, it is mandatory that he or she is going to do a transaction. One thing can be optional that while doing the transaction or while doing the login procedure, one thing, one use case can come is that is bad pin. So let's add it. That is extend. So what relation we can add here is that can be optional. If you are going to tell something that can be or cannot be done, we can use the extend function. So what we are going to do is we will connect bad pin with transaction this time. Why? Because bad pin is optional with the transaction. It can be or it cannot occur. Depends. It can or it cannot. So this is the concept of extend and include. Now, if you talk about transaction, what things can be included in a transaction system, as you can see? In transaction system, uh, we can just increase the size of this cardboard or we can take these things little up, but to make it more neat, we can just extend it. So in, inside the transaction, there can be one more thing that is deposit, okay? What a bank customer will do in transaction, he can deposit check balance or withdraw. These all are these all are man, not mandatory or optional. So let's first add the use cases. The first one is withdraw. The second one is check balance. And the third one is deposit. These are all not mandatory. It means it, while doing transaction, the customer has its choice. He can withdraw, check balance, or deposit. Let's just add it with the extend one. Withdraw with the transaction. Check balance with the transaction. And deposit with the transaction. Sorry, I have not connected it correctly. So let's just connect it. Now, Let's talk about the bank. What a bank is going to do? The bank is going to deal with the transaction part. The bank is going to look after the transaction part. So let's just, we can add bank here. We can just take it down so that we can connect. So bank, mainly what it does that whatever transaction the customer is going to do, it's going to check around it, do everything. It's going to give its transaction or everything. So we'll go to connect the association with the bank. So this is the main ATM machine system use case diagram that is mainly done. It could be many things, but these are the means. One more thing that we can add is print receipt. Print receipt is, you know, when a user takes out his cash or whatever he does, it, he can print his receipt, okay? If you want to check his balance, this is an optional one you can add and connect it with anyone. So these are the three actors, administrator, bank customer, bank that deals with. I forgot to connect the bank customer with login. So we'll put an association here. So these all things is going to be done. So this was the use case diagram of ATM machine system. If you like it, please subscribe my channel so they can view all the latest videos related to this. Thank you.